I see what's there. It's your boy and welcome back to Reading Comments. Comment Wednesday. Another another name for the series. I don't I don't have a finalized thing for this. I don't know. Guys, help me. But anyway, welcome back to Comment Wednesday. Okay, so we're back reading some comments. Comments are here. I gotta gather them all up. You guys got me some really good comments today. So I'm prepared, and I'm willing with fantastic fantasies in my head okay there you go where do you see yourself at the end of 2017 um i don't know surrounded by friends and family having dinner turkey actually no turkey dries out really quick pizza maybe a soda you know, having a bottle of time is a great time then but actually seriously i think i might i hope that at the end of 2017 i have i'm better at what i do when i say i'm better at what i do i mean have like better content put up on the channel and I'm better at editing and making the thumbnails, having a more polished system with it or a polished um, like setup and maybe learning how to do Premiere Pro because I still don't know how to use that goddamn software, it's too hard. Um, and hopefully I don't get too stressed out because apparently it's gonna be really stressing. Apparently it's th one of these next year or something is gonna be a pretty stressful year, I don't understand. I hope I don't get too stressed out. I hope that everything is still the way it is. It's everything. I'm still a fun loving kid. So there we go. That's where I see myself. 2017. Sorry for the late reply, but I wonder if you could react to there's a man in the woods and I would like to see you try to figure out what happened in the story. Also, there is something creepy about Humpty Dumpty. They never said he was an egg. Did you know that? No, no, I did not know this, uh, Andrew. Andrew, they, it probably, they, they, it never even said it in the song, you know? It was like, it was like, Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall, he was an egg, had a great fall. That, that's how the song should go. Anyway, you know, like, subtly add that he's an egg, or maybe an elephant, or a zucchini. He could be any of those things. And then he's like, Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall, he was an egg, had a great fall. All the kings and queens were like, fuck you, Humpty. You've been in power on this wall too long. We're gonna leave you there. Because <laughs> that's... Let's, let's face it, that's pretty much what happens in the story, okay? He falls, everyone's like, hey, we, 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 we aren't gonna make any effort to try and put you back together because you are an egg after all. So, yeah, so that's how it, that's the, how the, the song should go. So, yeah, it, put it on all the kids' books. Okay, so we're gonna react to this, uh, to this guy, to someone saying, there's a, there's a man in the woods. Looks like Jerry's bachelor pad from uh, Rick and Morty. There's a man in the woods. There's a man in the woods. What a spectacle. Before the story started, this school was still respected. I like the art style. My students used to skip down the hill to the honeysuckle, pluck a couple, and collect their neck. Pluck a couple. Their fill. Except one obnoxious kid, Sid, who just watched them eat the flowers while he seethed and scowled because he couldn't bear to share his sweet treats throughout our research. What a jerk! I remember Sid saying, There's a man in the woods. That's how the rumors began. Of course, Sid had spotted him first. Poor kids. He got him immersed in his spiel about a serial killer whose gun barrel glint hints at peril. A visit to the nurse, or worse. What well, do I feel like he made up that story just because he didn't want the, the kids the freaking eating honeysuckles? Look, over there. That man had Batman ears. We, we swear. <laughs> Batman ears. With crazy yellow eyes. We saw something rusty. His shotgun? It must be. I saw a lady severed thigh. Trust me. Every word I heard was absurd. Yet each day, Sid would stray down way past the playground. Who else was brave enough to save us from the killer's next plot? The rest of the lot would stop back at the black There's dog. lava down there. That any closer <laughs> were bound to be found deep in the woods, left <clears> to <throat> rot. I pleaded for the kids to think and learn to be mature. But after a few more rumors, doomed by attempts to prove the school was secure, their fear was undeterred. And when the buses I kick out big pants, up, the parents finally heard. Everything just blew up. I received a wall of emails and calls full of shrieks. Shoot for the moon! Five families who'd heard word of the murderer and didn't like my lack of action at all. 
What was I supposed to do? Comb the whole forest? Yeah, right. Would you? That means I didn't care? That's not fair. The stories that worried you weren't true. Of course I would feel... Was he the man in the woods? Real threat ...and I ignored it. And some poor kid got kidnapped while the kids were napping. But you couldn't admit that your good little kid would formulate a fib so he ignored what I said. Your little angels could never cook up such incredible creations. An overactive imagination, maybe. But my kid could never lie. How dare I? Accuse a child of being dishonest? <laughs> Just He's overwatching people playing 7-Up. <laughs> Look at the look down there. They those two mothers look like complete look, you see how their skin tone? They're like green and blue. They're like e like evil stepsis or something. Like <laughs> we're gonna get this man fired for I don't know, freaking not believing a fib that my child said. They dismissed me from the classroom. Like they knew what was best for their kids. Do you know how difficult it is to get a job when a bitter mom slatters your rep with child neglect from the outset? Now who's in control of your classes? Single file lines? Single file lines. <laughs> Wait, what? Is that <laughs> single file lines? As in, oh my god. He's, he, wait, 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 wait. The outset? Now who's in control of your classes? Single file lines? Single file lines. Little he's, file he's, swine. He's, he, he lost his job and then he decided to turn to uh, snorting shit up his nose. That's start snorting coke up his nose. That's that's a, a great film. I'm glad I got to watch it. <laughs> oh, this poor man. Jesus Christ. Killer by the pines, really? Are you blind? Will you find your spine? Now he's eating it. Now he's being hypocrite. I'm pretty sure he made up that story just so he could have his own honeysuckle tree. Okay? Why aren't you growing on yourself? Who is in my pride? Do you see what you did? But I can play along. I can be good. I can be good. Hear that, Sid? There's a man in the woods. Ooh, damn! See, okay. Now, first reveal to everything. How I react to it is okay. Clearly, had a pretty big action to the teacher getting fired, and then deciding to throw his life down the toilet, and then he decided to hey, let's make this kid's dream true. He, I mean, to be honest, there was no man in the woods. There's probably wasn't. There, there. Obviously, he clearly, the teacher made it happen. He he, he he was a good teacher. He was a good teacher. I, I want this guy to be my teacher. He makes dreams come true, okay? Sidley over here had a great old time plucking his honeysuckle seeds that he was selfish about, caring about. And then he was like, hey, let's just make up a weird dream of mine that there's a man in the woods, yellow eyes, Batman ears, uh, evildoers on his face and, you know, knife in his hand. So this teacher was like, hey, I'm gonna make your dream come true, kid. And you're gonna be the first victim of it, okay? The fact that you're saying that this guy's a killer or whatever. So I, I, I give props to the teacher for making his dream, his, the, that Sidley's dream come true. But at the same time, what is wrong with children? <laughs> Give me a second. What happened in the story? Uh, let me get a re-vibe. Yeah, yeah, I think... I think this Sid's whole elaborate scheme was to scare the children off away from the honeysuckle bush so he can have it all to himself. You know? Yeah. I think that I think this is what this is. It was basically a whole elaborate scheme so Sid could have his awesome honeysuckle uh, thing to bring home to his mama and children. I'm pretty sure maybe this guy, um, Sid's dream, maybe it wasn't an elaborate plan. Maybe he was hallucinating that it was his father. Maybe his father left him. Maybe uh, his father, he was, he was making his father look like a monster or something. Hello? Hello? Yellow shirt? Yellow eyes? Black hair? Batman eye? Black man ears? <laughs> Maybe, 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 maybe he, he, maybe he's hallucinating. Maybe he's sniffing some coke, okay? You should get off that, Sid. You know, what would finish us off? Either, you know, a, sh a, a gunshot or because, you know, it kind of gives off that, that aroma that he's going to shoot him down or like something else. But I mean, truly, that kid's a douchebag, okay? Um, I'm not like saying, hey, he should have killed him. But at the same time, there's, there's a fine line between reality and lies 
and clearly the fact that everyone chose to believe not reality is just a little bit stupid. Everyone believes the kid and doesn't believe the adult, which I mean, usually should be the other way around. But I mean, I don't know. That was an interesting thing. I mean, halfway through, I kind of sensed that the teacher was the man in the woods. Um, but you know, that was a fun little thing to react to. I mean, it, it wasn't what I was expecting. I wasn't expecting him to like be slurping out oak, uh, cocaine, and uh, putting his entire life down the drain. Why don't you just go, go that rhymed, like, like him. Oh my God, I'm basically him. Anyway, but um, I'm not, ex I'm not um, saying that he should have killed him or usually the teacher was right to do it. I just, I, I'm just fooling around. I don't think, the teacher should have came back for revenge. It's like a whole revenge story. But I mean, the kid was pretty much a liar. He was pretty jerky. Uh, did I get the story? Do, do you know this? Do you know the story, Andrew? Do you know the entire story? Huh? I don't know the story. Uh, I try to figure out what happened in the story. I, I don't know what happened in the story. That's my best guess. He got fired and then he was like, hey, I'll make your dream come true, kid. There you go. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Like goofy or something. What kind of games are you mostly into? Okay, um, I'm kind of an all-arounder. I kind of look on, I kind to be honest, I really like adventure games. I really like open world games like GTA and stuff like that, where it's kind of experimental. You can go and buy clothes if you want to. I kind of like casual games as well. Like, t take for example Zelda, um, Twilight Princess. It's very open worldish. You don't have to. You're not trapped in the dungeon forever. You can use Oko Loko Coco and uh, travel back, buy some milk. You know, uh, sit in the hot springs with the Gorons and and uh, you know heal up, find the hard stones. It's it's a very open game. You there's calm points of the game where you're like collecting bugs for Agatha over there, and um, and there's some points where you're fighting a slithery snakes and it's a fun time it, it has a perfect clash between calm parts or quiet parts with the action parts and then the, the story driven parts of it so i kind of like story driven games i kind of like um but i'm very open to whatever game there is i usually read into it or play it and see how i liked it then see how the the story goes so i'm kind of open-ended to those types of things open-ended to what kind of games I'm doing, I'm not just strictly close-minded about what game I play. I'm like, I only want open-ended games. I only want strategy games. I only want MMORPGs. I'm kind of open to that, to that type of thing. A few random thoughts of mine. The word, the word short has more letters than the word long. Taco Cat, spelled backwards, is Taco Cat. If potatoes were the world, they would feed off, of, would, would they feed off of sunlight or hunt dinosaurs, dirtosaurs, <laughs> dirtosaurs. Um, what if dogs mooed and cows barked? This has been Random Thongs, Thoughts with Wolf. Thank you, Bows, whoosh. Okay, now, did you know that the word mirror, half of them are ours? Whoa, so dramatic. Actually, I think that was, that was, that's a, a very interesting thing. The letter short is longer than the word long. Damn, that, that's some, that's a weird, oh God, that's a real thinker. Jesus, Mike's all over the place. Taco Cat spelled, Taco Bat, Taco Cat backwards is, is Taco Cat. Did you know race car? The, the, the word race car backwards is race car? Oh my jeez. See, I'm just, I'm kind of just going more. If potatoes were the word, world, would they feed off of sunlight or hunt dirtosaurs? Um, how would they hunt these dirtosaurs? How would they get around to cities and feed their potato families? Would they grow legs and arms and feet and hair? They have bazillions of eyes around them so they could hunt, they could see a predator coming from a mile away. So that's something also potatoes have. I think that'd be weird if dogs mooed. Like, their howl would be a moo. Moo! <laughs> And if cows barked, they'd be like, bark, bark. <laughs> I'm trying to like relate it to moo, bark. This is Random Thoughts of Wolf. Thank you. Well, thank you for your random thoughts. Damn, you have some weird thoughts swirling around your head. <laughs> 
Can you draw? And if you can, please show us your drawing ability. Okay, okay, okay. I'll show you my drawing ability. I have a notebook right here. So we're gonna give him, we're just gonna be a sloppy drawing. Uh, I used to do comics, so. Uh, they're all the way upstairs, so I don't know. I actually know where they are. I just don't feel like good enough in getting them. So what you do is usually you get them. You get a good head. You get a good, nice round head for... Uh, you know what? We're gonna give him a nice tippy bottom, okay? Tippy bottom chins. Some two beady eyes for your bug eyes. And then we're gonna give him a nice cute little nose. A nice smile with a little cheeky book. I don't know why, but I always gave gave my characters, like, v-necks. I don't know, I was never really into to drawing, like, just crew necks. I was more like a v-neck or, like... I'm not, uh, you're a on edge, you're an a angsty teen, okay? There you go, here we go, his name is gonna be David. David, he looks like a David, doesn't he? There you go, David, this is David. Look at David, that's David, right there. I hope you like David, he's a nice guy. Who would you rather make a video with, Markiplier or Jacksepticeye? Oh, that's like, that's like choosing between, like, ice, that's like choosing between pizza and, or, like, Sushi. They're both freaking hella delicious. Oh, and I want some now. Can I make a video with both of them? <laughs> Is there both? Is there or both? Because I picked that right away. I think I might go for Jack Septicai. It's not like I have anything against Mark. I love Mark. Um, I just think that he would he I don't know what gives off what off of Mark he gives off, but he he's he kind of has that kind of serious tone to him. Uh, even though he makes a lot of things hella funny, but I think Jack would add a type of twist to it that we can both like play off of and I feel like him and my humor are kind of similar and I'm pretty sure that Marks is, is similar as well. It's just that I feel like Jack would We would bounce off of each other more and I don't know, it'd be just a- it, it, But with both of them, it'd probably just be an episode full of laughs, okay? Okay! That does it for this episode of Comet Wednesday. Oh, yeah, Strike did again. There's a spider on my wall. I better go kill that or swack it with something. But that was today's Comet Wednesday. Um, I kind of wanted to keep it a tad bit shorter, but then everybody was like, Hey, let's give you all these random thoughts to think about. Clutter your head. Yeah. Tune in next time for Comet Wednesday. Here we go again. Now with Bob with the sports. But anyway, thank you all so much for joining me in this video. If you did enjoy, blast the like button with our dugan so we can subscribe for some more awesome content. And I will see you guys in the next video.